I have the new part working. I'm going to show you quickly the progression. Here was the stock model. Slides into the end of the screwed aluminum. Took and uprated it so that way you could use a recessed screw to let the carrier go by, trying to make it to where it didn't have to use too many different parts that didn't work too well nothing held it in as the screw hole in the end but with the mounting hole for that bar the screw had no room to go into that channel or into that hole in the end of the stock the floor caught it sometimes the floor is your friend Oh no, that was the piece that I needed next. Where did it go? Okay. So to keep, so to get around that hole, not being able to be used, added another peg. This little test print to see that it worked. So this would be that part there. So that worked that lined up with the existing mounting hole that is in that crossbar and took and combined it with this one which this is the mounting plate for the stop limit switch see that it's just a mounting plate for the stop limit switch works really well have some recesses here for the back side of the components that are soldered onto the board and this here and we wind up with this here use recessed screws on both of them so they sit nice and flush the carrier will be able to go by hit the stop on the switch and work it fine behind this screw here is one of these holes the other side of that hole is the bolt that holds this to the carrier. So reusing the existing mounting holes, so I didn't have to drill anything in here or modify the printer in any way. I just modified the part that I made. I'll get a link to this model up on Thingiverse. Put that down in the description below and you can download and make one for yourself if you haven't already got a solution for making the belt not grind on that rail. 